Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about a zygous wheel. A zygous means unpaired or single. A zygous vein drains thoracic region, thoracic wall and upper lumbar region. It also connects superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. So as seen in the figure in this diagram, this is superior vena cava, this is inferior vena cava and this is the azygous vein which forms important connecting channel between these two major veins. It also connects vertebral venous system, vertebral venous system with portal venous system. and cable venous system. So we are going to discuss the azygous vein in under the following heads. First one will be formation of azygous vein, then course, relations and then we will see about the tributaries so let's start with the first point that is formation as we can see here this is ascending lumbar vein This is right subcoastal vein and this is right lumbar azygous vein. So azygous vein is formed of formed by union of ascending lumbar vein, right ascending lumbar vein then right subcoastal vein and right lumbar azygous vein this vein is also known as connection between connection between inferior vena cava and azygous vein so as we can see see this is the lower end which is connected with the inferior vena cava it is also known as the lumbar part of azygous vein So this is all about the formation. Then course. See, this is formed in the lumbar region. Then azygous vein ascends into the thorax. It pierces the diaphragm. Via aortic opening. And then ascends up to the level of uh, ascends up to the level of T4 and then it arches arches above the root of lung root of right lung and it ends by joining with it ends by joining with superior vena cava so this is how it, it travels see this is formed in the lumbar region it ascends upwards in the thorax it pierces the diaphragm 
in the at the aortic opening and then ascends up to the level of t4 then arches and joins with uh, superior vena cava then we'll see about the relations so the anterior relation esophagus posteriorly there lies lower 8 thoracic vertebra lower 8 thoracic vertebrae and right posterior intercostal arteries on the right on the right side of azygous vein there lies root of right lung root of right lung and splanchnic nerve greater splanchnic nerve and on the left side of the azygous vein there are two relations in the above part in the above part it is related with trachea and trachea and esophagus on the lower part on the lower part it is associated it is related with thoracic duct and aorta so these are the relations anteriorly it is related with esophagus posteriorly low, lower eight thoracic vertebra and right posterior intercostal arteries on the right side uh, it is related with root of lung and greater splanchnic nerve on the left side in the above part of the azygous vein uh, there lies trachea and esophagus and below there lies thoracic duct and aorta so these are the relations now we'll discuss about the tributaries so see this is the first intercostal po posterior intercostal vein this is second third and fourth the second third and fourth intercostal veins they un unite and they form right superior intercostal vein so the first tributary is right superior intercostal vein then the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th all these are the posterior intercostal veins they drain directly into the azygous vein so we can list the tributaries as first is right superior intercostal vein then 5 to 11 posterior intercostal veins intercostal veins along with these veins see this is the accessory hemiazygous vein hemiazygous vein this is the hemiazygous vein and along with these uh, tributaries shown in the diagram there lies some other tributaries such as uh, some esophageal veins esophageal pericardial and 
some mediastinal veins they also drain into the azygous vein so this is about the azygous vein now we'll see about the hemiazygous vein hemiazygous vein i'll be using the same diagram so the hemiazygous vein is also known as inferior hemiazygous vein hemiazygous vein it is the mirror image of lower part of the azygous vein it is the mirror image of lower part of azygous vein lower part of azygous vein so how it is formed we can see in the diagram similar to the azygous vein it is formed by union of left ascending lumbar vein the left subcostal vein and the left lumbar azygous vein so it is formed by union of union of left ascending lumbar vein ascending lumbar then left subcostal vein and left lumbar azygous vein then it is formed in the lumbar region then the course it is formed in the lumbar region then it ascends upwards and it pierces the left crux of the diaphragm left crux of the diaphragm enters the thorax it ascends upwards it pierces the left crux of the diaphragm and enters the thorax it ascends up to the level of it ascends in the thorax up to the level of t8 and near the bo lower border of t8 it joins with the azygous vein and it ends by joining with azygous vein so what are the tributaries the tributaries are this is 9 10 and 11 posterior intercostal veins so tributaries are left 8 sorry 8 9 Ten, eleven, posterior, intercostal veins. This is how the hemiazygous vein is formed. Then, this vein is the accessory hemiazygous vein. Accessory hemiazygous vein. this is also known as the superior hemiazygous vein see how it is formed it is formed at the level of t4 to t5 then it descends down in the thorax and at the upper border of t8 it joins with the azygous vein so it ends by 
joining with azygous vein at the level of upper border of upper border of t8 so what are the tributaries tributaries are Five, six, seven, eight. Left posterior intercostal veins. And sometimes the left bronchial vein also un unites with the accessory hemiazygous vein so these are the tributaries of accessory hemiazygous vein in this way we have completed the discussion about azygous vein hemiazygous vein and the accessory hemiazygous vein thanks for watching